Yes, this pool right here in St. Charles was one of the first in our region to actually open. But of course, with some new rules, take a look at the signs that are posted right in front of the pool. We talked to a couple of residents who came to take a swim. They say they're happy the pool was open and they feel safe with those new rules in play. The Wobble Horse Aquatic Facility allowed families to kick off the weekend with a refreshing splash. It was pretty fun. I was pretty ex excited. I saw some of my school friends here, so that um, made my day. The city of St. Charles is going by the rules of phase one of the Show Me Recovery Plan. This pool only open to limited capacity, 25% through May 31st, and not just open to anyone. The pool is only open to St. Charles residents and season pass holders. I thought it wasn't going to open because of uh, COVID, so I was really excited to know that it was. And I like the capacity only being 200, so it's not so crowded anymore. The normal capacity of 800 cut down. Other changes, they're not providing life jackets, but people can bring their own. Lawn chairs are permitted and the pool is able to do temperature checks before guests come in. The aquatics coordinator for the city of St. Charles Parks and Recreation, Missy Hollander, says it was a successful start. Very smooth. We've had a lot of city residents that have come through the park that have been extremely pleased. She says keeping up with the new rules will be the biggest adjustment. This is absolutely something that I've never seen before and it is very different. Just across county lines, Aquaport in Maryland Heights still empty and closed due to tougher regulations in St. Louis County. Those at Wapple Horst happy to be able to continue the tradition. During the summer, we like to come every day, every weekend. We come a lot. Now, there are actually three city pools. This is the only one to open. The other two are scheduled to open at a later date, depending upon how this all goes. Reporting live from St. Charles, I'm Blair Lede, Fox 2 News.